the little, I'm going to say Can-Am hacks. You know what? I'm just going to say, doesn't it seem, I feel like I need a tool belt. Okay, anyways. Okay, so today we are changing the oil in the Can-Am. And um, we got some nifty tricks for you. Um, so we have these. We'll talk about the funnels that we got first. We have the big mouth funnel. Um, it's like your mom. Just kidding. Uh, I can't do it. Cut that out. Edit. Okay, so today we are going to be changing the oil in the Can-Am. I'm going to do it. It would probably go a lot smoother if I had a tool belt. Look what I'm wearing. I would really just finish this ensemble. I've been asking for one for uh, four years, so maybe Sunday. Santa didn't bring it this year. Anyways, um, so we have some uh, Can-Am hacks, right, for oil changing, made easy. Yeah. Um, this is the first thing we have. It's called the Big Mouth Funnel. We bought this at AutoZone, your local AutoZone. Um, part number 10713 BLK, that's the color, black. And this is for draining the oil, I'll show you. And then we have this filler funnel that we got at O'Reilly's, and this is real nifty. This is, um, this is a filler funnel to fill it. Get it? See? And then of course we have the oil filter, which we purchased from our local Can-Am dealer. So to use this bad boy, which I think is so awesome. Hello? Okay, so... This hole right here, this larger hole, is what you're going to enter through. And you just kind of work it in there. Don't force it. And you see it come out the bottom. You come around this way. Oh, it goes on that side. So I don't know if you can see, I should have a light, but basically right in here. And here we go, there's the dipstick and where we're gonna fill. And look at that, um, meant to be. I think this was actually designed for the Can-Am, I'm not, I'm not sure, but but I'm gonna say it was. This idea came from Dean Hoover. He, ha he needs to have a lot of ideas for us. He's, uh, he was number one. He has uh, number 24 Can-Am. The 2017s, when they came out, he got the 24th one. Ours is like 24,000, I don't know. But, um, so, I don't need this flashlight. And I already said we have the oil filter, so I guess we can start showing people how to do it. I mean, it's so easy, even a chick can do it. Watch. I hope it doesn't go as poorly as the Chevy oil change went. That was a mess. Oh, you know what else I need? When I get my tool belt, I probably need a creeper. Because look what I'm laying on, a beach towel. Not even a good one. Okay. So I need this to shine down here so I can see what I'm doing. Can I make me look stupid on TV? Okay, so let me get down here without a tool belt or a creeper. At least I have overalls. 17, look at that, shiny, with a long extension because you have to go, we have a skid plate down here, which makes things awesome and really difficult at the same time, you depending skid on plate? the situation. Skid plate, look at that, ooh, ah. I'm gonna write Brandy was here. So you see up in there, yeah, right there, that bolt. That's the first one I'm removing and that's the 17. I'm actually not removing it yet, I'm just gonna, Loosen it a tiny bit, a tad, and then I'm gonna loosen the one next to it, which is a, uh, that's a 10. So, coming up. All right, so barely, cause like I said, the Chevy did not go well. Okay, so now we broke the 17 loose. Did you really break it loose with it? Yeah. Okay, now that one's loose. Um, now we gotta get the 10 next to it. Same thing, break that one loose. And then I'll uh, show you that big mouth filter and how awesome it actually is. I mean, in theory, I haven't tried it yet. Okay, now for the tin. Okay, so, see that move? That's right, that's right. Okay, so now we get to use our nifty big mouth funnel. Okay, so uh, you wanna work it in this little, this little area right here. Um, and if you have a wife, or I mean, maybe if you are a chick, you should do this because look how much easier it is when you have tiny hands. You can just like do this. You could do activities. I could do sign language, puppet show, whatever. Okay. See it right there? I'm going to shine the light under. Oh, right there. Shining up. See? Oh, oil's dripping. Okay, so we got to do this. And that hole is going to be perfect to set our funnel in. It's a little warm, that oil. Um, I can't see. Okay, so you see how that uh, spout or that little uh, 
catcher on the back of the funnel kind of fits right over that bar. That's what I mean. These tools. Can Am hacks, hacking it. You pull this back out because it's kind of fun just to get in and out. I just feel like I'm like real agile right now. Okay, so this part here, this back raised section, just kind of sits right on top of the bar back there. And once you get in there, you'll, I mean, it's, there's nowhere else for it to go. This will butt up against the bar and kind of just lean right over the top. Gives you a nice little work area so you don't make a giant mess. I chose this one today because it matches my outfit. And sorry, I'm still a chick. So we're gonna set that right over there. And we're gonna hope for the best. Just kidding, it's gonna be fun. And now, since I used all my muscles to break those loose, all I have to do is give it a little zhuzh. Carefuling at this part, please, everybody. Safety third, or whatever, whatever you say. Fourth, follow your owner's manual, whatever. I wish we would have filmed when I did the Chevy. That was a disaster. Here we go. I think this is really it. I was kidding before. I was trying to build up suspense. Oh, that was the bolt. Oh, is that nut? It's in there. That's okay. I know where it went. All right, so there's that one. One down. See it? Looks like it's coming out of the funnel pretty good and not all over the place, right? Yep, it's not splattering in here. I don't know. Let me hold this phone so you guys can see. Can you guys see that? Beautiful oil flow just flowing right into that funnel. Look at it. See how it just sits there? It's like a waterfall, Yosemite or something. Of course it is. Da, 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 da. Oh, that's out. So what happened? Let me tell you what happened so you don't do the same thing. Um, I let that um, I let that nut loose, and I let it loose a little too fast, and all the oil just came pouring out. And when it did, it pushed the funnel forward, knocked it out of the hole. And uh, so because of that, we now have some, we have some oil in there, a little bit. That's okay. Okay, so now we're going to remove the oil filter. Let's see what kind of damage I can do now. Ah. So this is an 8 millimeter. I'm using a little wrench here. How adorable. I mean, I want to put it on my keychain. Yeah, it is. And look at it, folks. That's right. Today we all learned a lesson. A couple lessons, actually. Um... And we did that actually so that you guys um, would know not to. You're welcome. Okay, finishing the removal of the, um, I'm gonna call it the oil filter cap. Okay, now we're gonna pop this cap off. Okay. Okay. Now we have the oil filter. Right here. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Got it. Okay, so in this um, larger oil uh, drain plug, there's a magnet. So it collects any little metal shavings that might be floating around in there. So to alert you of any kind of potential issue. There's, you see there's little tiny, tiny bits of metal in there, but but I've been assured that this is normal because it's just the first, you know. It's the first oil change and somebody drives it real hard and like does crazy stuff. Okay, so we uh, pulled the O-ring off, inspected it. We don't have a new one right now, but this one's fine. We checked it, cleaned it, made sure there's no dirt or any problems with it. It's not worn, so we'll just pop that one back in. Um, and oil filter. Okay, so um, we have this nifty little, uh, this is an oil filter uh, wetter receptacle. So we're gonna put this in there and we're gonna soak it with some oil just to prep it so it's not shocked when it gets in there. I don't know, but that's what we're gonna, it's too clean and we can't put this in the car. What? So that's what we're gonna do next. All right, so we're gonna get this wet. Uh, we have this Rotella T6 540. So I'm gonna pour this right Dead in the center. I just said, it could be my hidden talent. I'm not, we've decided it's not whistling, folks. Well, I didn't decide that, but. What? What? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just like really amazed by my, my skills. See the bubbles, but more importantly, did you see the center pour? I did see it. Thank you. Okay, so we're gonna put the drain plugs back in. I'm gonna start with the larger, the 17 millimeter, further away. 
Oh my God, everybody said that on tape. On tape. <laughs> VHS okay. On VHS. Real, real. Okay, here we go. Okay. So those are tightened. Those are brandy tightened. Now we're gonna we're gonna bring the big boys in. See it in there, folks. Then we're gonna get the seventeen. Torque to factory specs as well. Always factory specs. Click. <laughs> Okay, we're getting ready to drop the uh, oil filter back in. So, just to ensure that I don't make another mess, we're gonna just hold this here and let it just let it just drain a little bit. Get rid of some of that. Look how pretty it looks. It looks like honey. How it starts out like honey, and then how it ends up like tar. Okay, so here we go. No mess. No mess, folks. Watch this. Watch this move. Hold on a second. It's upside down. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to remove this. Look how cute that is. See that? That, folks, is what it looks like right there. Ugh. This thing is not the easiest to maneuver. Redid positioning. Oh, yeah, it's better. I'm just so short. Three. Find the sweet spot. I don't hear anything. Oh. Four. Five. Oh yeah, that's it. Seven. 